Okay, my boys and girls, you're welcome to our next lesson of the day. In the previous lesson, you handled how to find area of a kite and you are given some activities of which before I start with the new work today, we need to go through those activities that you are given so that you may be able to mark yourself, see where you went wrong and be correct if you may be fail. But I know you all passed. Let's look at the work. Let's look at the working. Okay. <clears throat> we are beginning with correction number one. You have your diagonal one and diagonal two, whereby when, if you follow all those procedures, you will be able to come up with your answer as 20 square centimeters. What about two? Two? Your diagonal one was 3.5 plus 3.5 to give you seven meters. Diagonal two gave you 12 meters. And when you reach this point, you substitute. Your final answer is 42 square meters. Then number three, what was there? Number three, number three. You had all those, diagonal one was eight, diagonal two was 14, substitute and come up with the final answer as 56 square centimeters. What about number four? Go through. Your answer should be 100 square decimeters. Then number five, you can still go through the work. Yeah. The answer is 99 square decimeters. Those are the corrections, or oh, those are the corrections for the previous work that you had. What about today? You are most welcome to this lesson 15, as you can see. And in our lesson 15, we are going to look at area of parts of figures. What are these parts of figures? Before I go to the next slide, I want you to think about whatever you have at home. You have tables at home. Those tables have uh, uh, table mats, and some table mats do not cover the table fully, and at times you need to place it centrally. You need to place so that it may look nice. And that's exactly whatever we are going to have uh, today. You can see that. We can take the big, you can see here, work out the area of the shaded part of the figure below. Now this big part, this big figure here, you may take it to be your table. It is, it is rectangular in shape. Then there was a very nice white tablecloth which was put on the table. Remember the table seems to be pink or red depending on the color that you see on your machine. So the white part is the table mat. Now you want to find the area which was not covered or the area which is shaded. That's how you may place your table, I mean your piece of cloth or your table cloth on the table. So how do we get the area which is not covered or how do we get the, the shaded area which you see? There you can see that we have two figures. Our table is in form of a rectangle. The table mat or the table cloth is also in form of a rectangle. So what we're going to do is to find the area of the outer figure. And since it is in form of a rectangle, what formula, can, what formula do we need to use? Yeah, we have that length times width. Of course, 15 is our length and 13 is our width, which is there as far as substitution is concerned. So I need to organize my work. That's my book, and I'm trying to rule. That last part will be my part for side work, and I need to multiply 15 
by 13. I've arranged it vertically. Oh, 5. 3 times 5 is giving me 15. But now I've written this 5. I've regrouped 1. And the one I've regrouped is up there. Then I need to multiply this 3 by this one, this, this one which is black, and finally add 1 to it, of which one, 3 times 1 is equal to 1, plus 1 to give me 4. Plus, uh, next, I have this 1, which should be multiplied by 5, and that will give me 5. Then lastly, 1 times 1, that gives me 1. What next should I take? I think I need to add, I need to underline and add those numbers. Ah, so five, this position you see here, there's nothing, however that is meant to be even zero. So five plus nothing is going to give me five, then four plus five is nine, lastly zero plus one will give me one. So that means the product of 15 and 13 is 195. Uh -huh. So my area becomes up to 195 for the table or that outer figure. What about the inner figure, that white table mat or piece of cloth? Since it is in form of a rectangle, we are going to have the same formula as length times width. I need to carry out my substitution, that is 12 centimeters times 11 centimeters. We can still have it done vertically, that is 1 times 2, this 1 here times 2 is giving me 2. Then 1, this 1 here on the side of 1s times the 1 on the side of 10s is giving me that. So I have uh, 12. Still, I have to move to this part of the 10. So, 1 times 2 is giving, is giving me that 2. Then, lastly, 1 times 1 will give me 1. What next should I do? Add. So, one, uh, 2, plus, 2 plus 0 will give me 2. 1 plus 2, that is 3. Then, finally, I have that 1. So, I should transfer my answer at that very point. And I'm very sure you can easily multiply that even mentally. Mm. Area of the shaded part. I have the area of the outer figure. I have the area of the inner figure. What operation do I need to do so that I get the area of this remaining part? First, the operation there should be subtraction. So I need to have the area of the outer figure take away the area of the inner figure. What will I get? Ah. 5 take away 2 will give me 3. Then 9 take away 3. Hmm, 36. Lastly, 1 take away 1 will give me zero. So my final answer is 63 square centimeters. And I'm very sure you learned this work when you are in the primary five. In P6, you had something similar to that. And right now we are reminding you still with the same piece of work. Let's go to number two and we see. This time, we want to find the area of the unshaded part of the figure below. Okay, the figure is there. You can look at the whole figure. If you look at my whole figure, that becomes a that's a rectangle. Then the shaded part. Basing on the first lesson you had, the first lesson you had with uh, Miss Okore, these signs here. I would tell you that all the sides are equal and this is a square. And right now we want to find the area of the unshaded part. So, what do we do? 
I think we, can need, we need to get, there are very many ways of getting the answer of that. But for now, I'm going to use one, whereby we shall need to find the area of the bigger figure or the outer figure, then we still get the area of the inner figure. So let's look at the outer figure. The outer figure is in form of a rectangle, so that formula works for us. But now, what will our length be? Remember, this 10 is from this point or this vertex up to this point here. But you want the whole thing. And from this point up to the last point is 8. That makes our length to be 18. And the width is 16. So there is our substitution. I want to have my work organized. That's why I have that line. I should also have another line for my side work. That means I'm having 18 times 16. 8 times 6 is 48. I've written 8 and I've regrouped 4, which is there. Now I'm multiplying this 6 by 1. And 6 times 1 is 6 plus the 4 that I have regrouped to make 10. But I'm going to write that. Then when I regroup the one, the one is supposed to be here, and since there's nothing ahead, I'll just have that one. That one tells you that 18 times 6 is 108. But remember, we still have to multiply this one on the side of the tens by the upper numbers. So, 1 times 8. 1 times 1 times 8 is giving me 8. Then 1 times 1 the answer should be written here, which is that one. The next option is add those two. That gives us eight. Zero plus eight is eight. One plus one is two. Ah, the area goes there as 288 square meters. That is the area of the outer figure. Let's look at the inner figure. Let's look at the inner figure. In our inner figure, we are going to have that formula, length times length. Why do I have that formula? The figure you see there is a square. I may have length times length or side times side. In fact, I don't want you to confuse this length here with the first length. The first length was for a rectangle. But now this one that I'm using is for only the inner figure, which is 8 meters. So do not confuse it with the first one. The, the length is 8, and we have it times length because this part is 8. This, this other side is also 8. So the product of 8 and 8 is 64, of which our area of the inner figure, or the shaded part, is 64 square meters but you want to find the area of the unshaded part what happens the same operation comes in the same operation comes in okay we are now looking at the area of the unshaded part which is the area of the bigger figure, which is 228, 200, it's not 228, it's supposed to be 288. Okay, now, the area of our unshaded part will be the area of the big figure, take away the area of the inner figure. Just as you see, 288 square meters take away 64 square meters. And our answer is 224 square meters. That was all that is our example number two. Now let's look at the last one. The last one looks like that. Work out the area of the shaded part of the figure below. These are figures that you have learned, so we are not trying to combine. We have the outer figure, 
which is a, which is a, a trapezium. We have the inner figure, and that inner figure is a triangle. So we need to get the area of the trapezium first. Then you get the area of the triangle. Then finally you subtract. Or you may get the area of the triangle first. Then you go to trapezium and finally cut out the subtraction to get your area of the shaded part. What formula did you use for getting area of a trapezium? Which is our outer figure. First the area is a half height into A plus B. If you look at this trapezium, our perpendicular height is 9 decimeters. Our perpendicular height is 9 decimeters. Because this one of 6 ended on the way. So we are taking 9. Then our A will be 10. Our B is going to be 18. Just like you see. It is a half times 9 into 10 decimeters plus 18 decimeters. I mean half times 9 decimeters into that. So, before you begin dividing, handle the bracket first. Board mass bracket. 10 plus 18 is going to give you 28. That means we have a half times 9 decimeters times 28 decimeters. I'm dividing that by 2, which is giving me 1, then 28 divided by 2, will give me 14. That means I will remain with 9 times 14, as you see. Ah, my side work is coming. 9 times 14. So I should first of all multiply. I should multiply 9 by 4. That gives me 36, but I'll write 6 and regroup 3. Then 9 times 1 is 9 plus 3 that gives me the 12 so the area of the outer figure is 126 square decimeters now let's look at the inner figure that inner figure is a triangle you are you manage to find the area of triangles in various lessons so it should be a walkover half base times height. Our base is 13 decimeters and the perpendicular height is 6 decimeters. Carry out the, sub, carry out the substitution, that is a half times 13 decimeters times 6 decimeters. So when I divide 2 by 2, I'll get 1. 13 and 6, I should use 6 because 6 is an even number. I have to divide 6 by 2. That gives me that answer, which is 3. What is, what is left? Or what am I remaining with? 13 decimeters should be multiplied by 3 decimeters, which is 39 square decimeters. We want to find the area of the shaded part. That shaded part is pink. We want to find the area of that pink. Uh -huh. Area of the shaded part will be the area of the outer figure, which is 126 square decimeters, take away the area of the inner figure, which is 39 square decimeters. I have 10 seconds for you to get the answer. If you have got the answer, Check whether yours is the same as mine. If they are not the same, then one of us must be wrong. But mainly you, this one is correct. So our final answer is 87 square decimeters. And that marks the end. That marks the end of our lesson today. Go through the work again in case you fail to pick any part which is not clear to you. Then you answer the activities that we are going to give you 
and you should be able to follow those activities very well, move from one point to another point like that. And I'm very sure you should be having questions. If you have any question which is disturbing you, it may be on whatever we have covered, or it may be something which is not covered, please endeavor to send us those questions so that we assist you in going through the work. Thank you very much. I wish you the best.